fly a helicopter on Mars when we can't keep our glasses from fogging up. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to the 2021 Western Texas College Commencement Ceremony. At this time, we'd like to have Western Texas College student, Ms. Nakia Adana Oluru, come and present our national anthem. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, one visible, with liberty and justice for all. College student, uh, Miss Clarissa Rico Francis, will now come and lead us in our invocation. Life journey. 
Thanks to all the parents for all their love and support for all of us. In closing, I ask that you watch over those who are traveling and bless them, as well as watch over them as they return home. In Jesus' name, amen. Jordan Shiflett for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and Clarissa Francis for the invocation. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the faculty and staff of Western Texas College, it is an honor to welcome you to our 49th commencement ceremony. As president of the college, it is both a privilege and an honor to stand before you as we celebrate our 202 Western Texas College class of 2021 graduating class members. Please join me in recognizing their accomplishment. Congratulations. We got a rowdy bunch, I love it. Feel free. Much work goes into this ceremony and I would like to thank those who helped to make this event possible. First, I'd like to ask the dedicated faculty of Western Texas College to stand and be recognized. The graduates can certainly attest to the enthusiasm and commitment of our faculty, so please help us acknowledge and thank them. Next, I'd like to recognize the devoted staff of Western Texas College these staff members provide support services for the college, which ultimately benefit the students as they journey through their education. Please join me in acknowledging and thanking our staff. I also would like to thank the commencement committee, chaired by Mr. Ralph Ramon, Vice President and Dean of Student Services. The committee puts forth a tremendous amount of work for our graduation ceremony, and I sincerely thank them for all they do. I also want to thank Mr. Garen Skates, who is serving as our Master of Ceremony, and who will introduce our graduating class members, our admissions and registration staff who process and verify grades and graduation eligibility, Corey Knight, who is ensuring that those not able to be with us today are able to join us <coughs> virtually, Snyder ISD for the beautiful plants that decorate the stage, and the Coliseum and TDI staff for transforming the Coliseum into the festive space that it is this morning. As president, graduation is one of my most favorite days of the year, and every graduation, like every graduate, is special. However, this graduation is especially meaningful. Most of you were here last year when your traditional college experience was derailed and classes morphed from face-to-face -to, -face to online. You persevered, you did not give up. And now we are all here in person to celebrate with pomp and circumstance and academic regalia to give your parents, grandparents, spouses, children and grandchildren other family members and friends, the chance to see you walk across the stage to receive your well-deserved certificates and degrees. Their support has truly helped you achieve your goals. So today, as we honor you, we also honor them and join with you in thanking them for their support. Please give yourselves a hand. I'd like to take a moment to point out the various flags and banners around the perimeter of the Coliseum. These flags and banners represent the national and international student body at WTC. The state flags represent this year's graduating students from 10 U.S. states, and the banners represent this year's international student body from 22 foreign countries. I would now like to introduce our stage guests who will please stand as they are recognized. Mr. Eddie Peterson, 
Vice President and <clears throat> excuse me, of the WTC Board of Trustees, and Ms. Stephanie Ducheneau, Dean of Instructional Affairs, and y'all know here and down there our Master of Ceremonies. To begin our program, I would like to acknowledge five exceptional school districts and some very special people who have partnered with the college for the betterment of our students. Please recognize Roscoe Collegiate ISD, Snyder ISD, Colorado ISD, Sweetwater ISD, and Olden ISD. <laughs> Western Texas College is proud to work with you in the development and continued success of all of our students. This morning, 11 Roscoe Collegiate High School students, 8 Snyder ISD students, three Olfen ISD students, two Colorado ISD students, and two Sweetwater ISD students are earning associate's degrees and certificates from WTC before graduating high school. With these students, please stand and be recognized. Congratulations. The WTC Board of Trustees have provided for Scurry County High School graduates to attend WTC tuition-free as part of the Opportunity Tuition Waiver. This year, 251 Scurry County High School students were eligible for and received the Opportunity Tuition Waiver. In order to maintain eligibility, students must complete 40 hours of service to the community and maintain a GPA of 2.75. Together, these graduates and their families saved over $195,000 by virtue of the waiver. It is now my pleasure to recognize our 2021 Distinguished Student Speakers. Would Ms. Brooke Rao and Mr. Clement Keto please stand and be recognized. Before Ms. Rao and Mr. Cato address the graduating <laughs> class this morning, and before I introduce Brooke, who will be speaking first, I'd like to say a few words about her. Brooke is a summa cum laude honor graduate who came to Western Texas College from Sterling City, Texas, where she graduated from Sterling City High School. While attending WTC, she achieved President List honors every semester. She is a member of the Phi Theta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and a member of the WTC Women's Cross Country Team. Brooke is graduating with an Associate of Arts in Teaching with a 3.93 GPA. After graduation, she will be attending Texas Tech University's Accelerated Teacher Program that will begin in July. She plans to continue, excuse me, she plans to graduate with her Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education in the summer of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, WTC Distinguished Student Speaker, Brooke Rao. My name is Brooke Rao, and I am honored to be speaking at our graduation ceremony today. I would like to thank the administration, teachers, and coaches that have contributed so much time and dedication to, towards my success. Your help and guidance has allowed me to excel and improve as a student athlete and as a young adult. Western Texas College has had a major impact on my life and I am grateful that I chose to become a Westerner. My experience here has been outstanding, and today I will share my Westerner story with you. Two years ago, I missed out on my senior year of high school track because of a stress fracture in my foot. Oh well, I was just a small school 1A runner from the little town of Sterling City, 
and it looked like my goal of running as a college athlete had faded. Fortunately, Coach Campos needed a fifth or sixth runner on his team full of big 4A, 5A, and 6A girls, and he decided to take a chance on me. I remember Coach seemed to be a little concerned if I could handle the running at the college level, but I knew I could do it, and I was honored to have my chance to compete at a collegiate level with such great athletes. It is important to understand that I've never been the best on the team, but I was always willing to work hard to be the best. Along with hard work and dedication, I bought into this amazing running program, and I was able to achieve things that I had only dreamed of accomplishing as a college athlete. During my freshman season of cross country, my foot healed, and I began to improve and finished second on the team at our regional cross country meet. This motivated me to work even harder over the following weeks as I prepared for indoor track. That was awesome. I was a small town kid on the Texas A&M and Texas Tech tracks running with NCAA Division I runners. Hard work and dedication had paid off as I set WTC indoor track records in the mile and 3,000 meter events. This was followed by qualifying for the NJCAA National Indoor Track Meet in Lynchburg, Virginia. I then finished 13th in the nation in the 3,000 and 11th in the mile. Next up was outdoor track, or so we thought. Unfortunately, as we all know, COVID struck. I loved competing, and COVID destroyed my opportunity to compete. I now stared down a long road of months of training and wondering if I was ever going to get to compete again. Fortunately, cross country was the only sport that got to compete this past fall, and we definitely took advantage of it. COVID still ended up spoiling a lot of our meets, but we took advantage of every single one that we got, and we ended up qualifying for the NC, NJCAA National Cross Country Meet in Fort Dodge, Iowa. I finished first on the team and 18th in the nation and earned the honor of Coach's All-America team. With that said, my proudest accomplishment in two years at WTC are that I mean, maintained a 3.9 GPA, completed my associate's degree, and I have been accepted into the Tech Teach program to compete, complete my bachelor's degree <coughs> through Texas Tech University to pursue my career as a public educator. Not too bad for a small town kid. If you take anything from my story, I hope it is this. Always believe in yourself. Nothing in this world comes easy, but if you set goals and work hard, you can achieve greatness. It does not matter where you come from, and it does not matter what your past has held. Your dreams and your goals are your future, and your determination and belief in yourself will get you there. I have truly enjoyed my time here at Western Texas College, and I will always be a Westerner. I am honored and blessed to have met so many people and made lifelong friendships. Congratulations, class of 2021, and I wish you all greatness in your future. Thank you, Brooke. Mr. Clement Cantor was our second and equally deserving distinguished student speaker this morning. But before he comes up here, I'd like to say a few words about him. Clement is a summa cum laude honor graduate and comes to Texas from Halloween, France, where he graduated from the, I will kill this, Institution de la Croix. Should have practiced that last night. While attending WTC, he achieved Dean's List and President List honors. He is also a member of the Psi Zeta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and a member of the WTC golf team. Clement is graduating with an Associates of Arts in General Studies with a 3.87 GPA. He is still deciding between several universities where he is considering offers to play golf. Ladies and gentlemen, WTC Distinguished Student Speaker Clement Cato.
Good morning, class of 2021. I was asked to talk about my experience at Western Texas College, and I'm honored to give that speech today. To be honest, I feel nostalgic thinking about the claim who came one year and a half ago and that couldn't speak English and now about to graduate. I came here to live my American dream and I had to work really hard to overcome the language gap. Luckily, I had my teammates and classmates and all WTC staff to help me and I'm really thankful for that because I couldn't be here without all of you. Many people make jokes about Snyder because it's a small town and it's true, it can be boring sometimes. But you know what, I liked it because the size made me feel like we were a family and we can focus on what we have to do. It is the perfect place to reach our dreams because we don't have any distractions. I am really glad and proud to be part of WTC. Moreover, WTC and the American mentality taught me to push towards my dreams and that everything is possible if you work hard. I can tell you, I've grown up so much since I came here as both an athlete and a human being. I would like to say thank you to all the staff and particularly my teammates, both of my coaches, my teacher, Nicole, Jeffrey, and Tristy. But also, I know my family and my friends are watching me now, so that is for you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here for me and always supporting me in good and bad times. I am so blessed to have you, you in my life, guys, and I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and never give up on your dreams because they will inspire you to find the motivation to wake up every day. Thank you and congratulations. Before our distinguished student speakers leave the stage, it is my pleasure to bestow upon Brooke and Clement the 2021 Outstanding Academic Student Award. Congratulations. Recipients of the Outstanding Academic Student Award are selected by faculty from qualified graduating students who have been enrolled at WTC for a minimum of three semesters while maintaining at least a 3.75 GPA. Congratulations. They didn't know that was coming, so that makes it even a little more fun. I'd now like to introduce Stephanie Ducheneau, our Dean of Instructional Affairs, who will present the class of 2021 to Mr. Peterson, Vice President of our Board of Trustees. Mr. Peterson, the candidates who are being presented to you today at this commencement have been duly enrolled, extensively examined, and are thoroughly recommended by the faculty as having completed the requirements for the associate degree or the certificate as appropriate from Western Texas College. The president and I, the Dean of Instructional Affairs, therefore certify that the candidates are entitled to receive the same and take pride in presenting them to you. Representing the Board of Trustees of Western Texas College, we want you to know how proud we are of you, of all our graduates. You have nothing but good things in your future, and we're behind you all the way. As Vice President of the Board of Trustees of Western Texas College, and acting upon the authority delegated through the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board and the Scurry County Junior College District. It is my pleasure to recognize these candidates for graduation. 
With your successful completion of the requirements for the associate degree or certificate, I hereby bestow on you this award and all the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Fidel Agrao, Associate of Science, General. Associate of Applied Science, Petroleum Technology. <laughs> Alexis Mercedes R.C., Associate of Science, General Studies. Jacqueline Ariano, Associate of Arts. General Studies. Kenzie Nicole Avalos, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Starlin A. Ayala, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Devin Elliott Blackwell, Associate of Science, Pre-Medicine. Associate of Science, General Studies. Georgia Lee Bowers, 
Associate of Science, General Studies. Jacqueline Cabrera, Associate of Science, General Studies. Maria Trinidad Campos, Associate of Science, Pre-Nurse. Clement Cato, Associate of Arts, Business. Jake Silverio Chavez, Certificate, Electrical Alignment. Kimberly Cortez, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Eliza Lee Cowley, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Aaron McKenzie Crane. Associate of Science, General Studies. Nick Joe Crespo, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Andrew Gilbert Delgadillo, Associate of Arts, Business. Jake Samuel Digby, Certificate Welding. Brittany Nicole Dutton, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Gabriella Gloria Dyke, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Juan Daniel Esparza. Associate of Arts, General Studies. Lisa Marie Fisk, Associate of Science, General Studies. Julian Lane Flores. Associate of Arts, General Studies. Mary Ann Ford, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Clarissa Ricole Francis, Associate of Science, Pre-Medicine. Lashika Deshe Gallegos, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Information and Technology.
Stephanie Gonzalez, Associate of Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. Emily Marie Guerra, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Alfredo Guillen, Associate of Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. Grant Zane Gunset, Associate of Science, Pre-Law. Mercedes Danielle Gutierrez, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Brianna Caitlin Hall, Associate of Science, Biology. Caden Mackenzie Harris, Associate of Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. Alfredo Hernandez, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Janet Hernandez, Associate of Arts, General Studies. John Raven Hernandez, Associate of Science, Pre-Law. Shia Brianne Hill, Associate of Arts Teaching, Elementary Education and Teaching. Kenley Thomas Hinton, Associate of Applied Science, Petroleum Technology. Joshua Tumba Ilunga, Associate of Arts, Kinesiology. Shoma Iwasaki, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Naftali Hines, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Oslin Elise Juarez, Associate of Arts, Kinesiology. Carrie Janae Lacey, Associate of Science, General Studies. Jacob Michael Lees, Applied Science, Welding. Ramon Omar Lewis, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Johnny Dean Marash, Certificate Electrical Lineman. Tyler Ray Martin, Certificate, Electrical Lineman. Dalton Thomas Martinez, Associate of Arts, Theater.
Melanie, Melanie Martinez, Martinez, Associate, Associate of Arts, Arts, General Studies. Zachary Santana Martinez, Certificate Electrical Lineman. Garen Harmon Mayhall, Certificate Electrical Lineman. William Elijah McLean. Associate of Science, Engineering. Eduardo David Mendez, Associate of Arts, Business. Paxton Richard Merrill. Certificate of Electrical Lineman. Mark Allen Montez, Certificate of Electrical Lineman. Laura Edith Murado, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Angela Suarez Murillo, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Ezekiel James Murphy, Associate of Science, General Studies. Kaylin New, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Tafadwa Nanakunda Wa, Associate of Arts, General Studies. <laughs> Nakai Adana Oluru, Associate of Arts, Theater. Certificate Welding. Arthur James Quigley, Associate of Arts, Kinesiology. Yelena Radonichi, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Jacqueline Charlize Ramirez, Associate of Science, Pre-Nursing. Jasmine Marie Rangel, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Theodora Ranovich, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Brooke Logan Rao, 
Associate of Arts, Teaching, Elementary Education and Teaching. Caleb John Reed, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Jesus Rios, Certificate of Technology. Caroline Nicole Rivera, Associate of Arts Teaching, Elementary Education and Teaching. Shantori Brianna Rogers, Associate of Arts, Kinesiology. General Studies. Studies. Jesus Rubio, Certificate, Certificate Electrical Alignment. Alignment. Teaching high school grades 8 through 12. Riley Raquel Sheridan, Associate of Science, General Studies. Associate of Arts, General Studies. Jordan Kyle Shiflin, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Kinesiology. 
Abby Marie Stevens, Associate of Science, Free Medicine. Jeffrey Benton Stewart, Associate of Applied Science, Welding. Jordan Samantha Stewart, Associate of Arts Teaching, Elementary Education and Teaching. Charity Raylene Thompson, Associate of Science, General Studies. Lisa Marie Thompson, Associate of Science, General Studies. Esmeralda Arabo Torres, Associate of Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. Gonzalez Yamala Torres, Associate of Science, General Studies. Homero Torres, Jr. Certificate Electrical Alignment. Damien Elias Valderas, Certificate Welding. Adam Tyler Vance, Associate of Science, Agriculture. Anthony Vasquez, Certificate Electrical Alignment. <laughs> Meredith Paige Hall, Associate of Arts, General Studies, and Social Sciences. Christian Gage Villegas, Associate of Arts, Kinesiology. Hannah Joelle Moore, Associate of Science, General Studies. James Loyal Webb, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Jalea Rishenda Journey Williams, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Alisa Michelle Ibarra, Associate of Arts, General Studies. Saraya Jocelyn Yestis. Associate of Arts, General Studies. Erica Trevino Zamparipa, Associate of Arts, Theater. Diana Zubia Ray, Associate of Arts, General Studies, Social Sciences. I'm so sorry we had such a quiet Coliseum for your graduation today. I really wanted some enthusiasm here for y'all. <laughs> Good job, I know you have it in you. One of our international students, Mr. Kofi Haragana, will offer our closing prayer. Kofi? Oh. 
Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to be gathered here today in celebration um, of the graduates of the 2021 um, class in WTC. We are so grateful for the administration staff, um, for their support and for their help. We are so grateful for the teachers and all their hard work. Um, we are so grateful for the coaching staff and our coaches for the encouragement that they give us um, day in and day out. As we end this um, celebration, this um, graduation, we ask you to help us travel safely to our various places that will be able to continue with the celebration. Um, and we ask a special prayer upon our graduates that as they move on to the next chapter of their life, that they will have some guidance and they will be able to um, achieve whatever goal that they have in store, that they'll be able to go strong and go hard. We are so grateful for all that you do for us, and um, as we go once again, we ask you for thy safety, and we ask you for thy blessing upon the students of WTC, that we all be protected, to be guided, and um, we ask you to bless all the sports teams that is left, with their season that we will all have a successful season and be able to um, continue going strong. We are so grateful for the we love thee and we leave this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Toby. That was beautiful. I would again like to thank our ISD guests from Roscoe, Snyder, Colorado City, and Sweetwater, and all who have joined us for this morning's commencement. As president of Western Texas College, it is an honor to recognize our graduates' significant achievement. This ceremony is to acknowledge and praise those accomplishments. In addition, as this year, 2021, is the 52nd anniversary of Western Texas College, you are graduates of a five-decade tradition of excellence. Be proud graduates of Western Texas College because we are very proud of you. Graduates, please stand. To signify your academic achievement, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations.